need to... Okay. Right. Good evening, everyone. I'm uh, sorry about that. I had no streaming tonight, so unfortunately, you've got to put up with me tonight. Um, a little bit late to the party. Uh, I'm going to be joined by Mr. Adam Moore, who's just joined the party. If you can make sure you, you have. Oh, damn. I knew I forgot to click it. I don't know. I've been, lit I've been literally setting everything up on the other thing. So. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was quite happy to do it myself, but obviously without the login stuff, it's uh, mm. kind of difficult. Yeah, mine's all saved into the as a separate account. So I yeah, I, I need to. I did try and add it as a separate account, but it just wouldn't let me. It just said the username just wasn't. It's it's not not a username, so I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a bastard Twitch setup. Um, oh yes, so I've got my own on there normally. So yeah, I've got my own as well. So oh, there's a crash there. What the hell is going on there? Grunty with you... a five place grip penalty. Yeah. That's what happens. That's what invade. I think. That's what happens when you all come out in a group like this. Yes. And and invade has oh, no front wing. Three wide, starting a lap. Come on. <laughs> Talk about not giving anyone space. The Aston oh, just pushed Verizon off the track there, which I think yeah. was Muddy Biscuit. Yeah. I'm on board with him. Ice Boy Fox at the moment. That, that's, that's just stupid. Talk about not wanting to wait your turn, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I get that the tie was ending, but there's a... You know, it that can be done a little better of, than that. That reminds me of... Uh, Monza. I, uh, Monza in real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I remember that one quite well. Devil Noob on pole position at the moment. With a 69. Well, Ipswich Techers will be staying in P14 as he has invalidated his lap. I say 69, it's a 66. <laughs> Are they not doing full quality? They're not doing full quality, are they? Well, that's Q1, it says, so... No, it's 15, yeah, it's short quality. Yeah. Uh, runner just gone P2 with a 116.1. 15.9 from Dragster. Blaze, fucking hell. I see Fox Bales. And I believe that is everyone. Yeah. Interesting times there. It must have been raining because it, it did look quite dark. It, yeah, it does a little. Yeah. I think it was definitely raining because look at the times down there below. Yeah. They're not. Uh, uh, they're not times that we just set in the dry. No, even I can do those times. Well, uh, Michaels, I think you would be glad you watched the ad because <laughs> it was a, it was a d disaster. It was. Well, there we have Dragster Blaze on pole position. Uh, his championship rival, where is he? Did you not recently? Who is his rival at the minute? Evo is in P15. He must have joined late or something. Yes, they are on the Inter Tires though. Oh, Inter Tires, yeah. That's it. Yes, sir. That's definitely confirmed it. So they must have waited till the last. That's why it was like that. Everyone waited till yeah. the last minute until it was dry and then uh, piled out. 
And uh, Grunty will be starting at the back with his five place grid drop. Yep. Yeah. But uh, key, it is key around here. It, it's not too difficult a track to get the overtakes done. But, you know. Yeah, there's a couple, there's a couple of spots. Yeah. I'm starting to like it, Muller, now because I did well there the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Going down oh, yeah. into turn one and two, there's, there's a good braking area to get in there. And again, three and four, even five. Mm. I'm sure Michaels would know every single bloody corner. Thirteen <laughs> <laughs> viewers watching so far. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Should we uh, turn five, five minutes ago? <laughs> yeah, apparently he does not know every corner. <laughs> He'd be out getting get his, a jump rope. He'd be, he'd, be he'd be getting his track book out now. <laughs> right. Put my jump rope because I'm freezing it. I'm boiling at the moment. I don't know why it's just me. <laughs> right, let's have a quick look and see what everyone's on. Well, Extras Tech is, is on the hard tire. Everyone else is going for the mediums, although Tornado has decided to change. And now a few are changing. Evo's going for it as well. No, so there's no one on softs just yet. We'll see if anyone switches right at the end. Of course, they'll have a load of fresh tires because of the wet. Yep. Well, this is like what I call one of the, when I talk to Michaels about tracks and stuff like that, one, what I call one of the iconic old tracks, like, like, yes, like Japan uh, last week, you know, that's one of those tracks that, you know, I like the traditional old fashioned tracks that everyone loves, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's so sad when you see him going like, and uh, you know, I was scared when we lost Hockenheim, like, you know? Um, yeah, oh, Hockenheim's so, a great track. Yeah. I've always been a bit of a sucker for the Hungaro ring as well. It's, mm. I like that track. Yeah. I like tracks that are actually tracks, not street tracks. Yeah. Yeah, Aqua Minerali, I know that one. I mean... Everyone has to go at Monaco, saying it's quite a boring track, but mm. it's so iconic. It is going iconic. Around, going around the streets of Monaco, there's nothing like it really. In, in when you see it on TV, you know. Yeah, it's a bit of a, it's it's more of a show than a race. I feel. Yeah. But it's it's just one of those things that you just, mm. it evokes certain emotions at Monaco. Oh, definitely. I always used to look forward to Monaco when I was a kid, watching it on the TV. You know, you, you always dreamed of going there to watch the, the race, like didn't you? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd love to. Mm. I actually think I'm going to Austria this year. I'm, well, I'm sure one of the boys, um, the RSF one, went there and walked around the actual track during the it's, off season. Um, Compared to the rest of the tracks, Austria is relatively cheap. Yeah, I heard Hungary rings cheapest. Well, the boys went there from RSF one, I think. I okay. Can't remember who. Who who went? I can't remember now. It's one of the boys in RSF one. He put the photos up and everything. 
Um, who was it? And I, I won't mind going to the Netherlands as well. Evening, uh, Mr. Grave Digger. That's not an expensive one either. Oh, Jinx has left the session. Oh, what a time to leave. They, they, they did leave and join a second ago. They haven't proved that, uh, uh, EA. Because I, I left the session on uh, last week. And they put me in my car at the start. Because normally it puts you in about a few quarters later when it's a total disaster. Because you know your AI is probably fucking smashed into someone. <laughs> or, you know? Oh, yes. Yeah, getting back. Jengus Logan. Oh, he's joined. It's all right. <coughs> the invite's there just in case. But, uh, yeah, it, it, they seem to have improved that. So. But it didn't improve my uh, preparing for it because it put me on some <laughs> stupid AI. <laughs> right, if you want to go through it from the back. I uh, certainly uh, will. And uh, we'll start, let's get me tired up. And we'll start at the yeah. back, yeah, if you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. P15, we have Grunty with his five place grid drop from McLaren. P14, we have SLR Evo in the Alpha Tauri. Ipswich Techers, P13 in Williams. Ruli Ethan in the Red Bull in P12. Dan Burnett, P11 in the Alpine. Icy, Icy? Ice Boy Fox, P10 in the Williams. Invade coming in P9 in the Mercedes. Verizon 40 in the Alpine in P8. Jengus Logan in the Mercedes P7. Muddy Biscuit coming in P6 in the Aston Martin. Crazy Fish in the Ferrari P5. Tornado in P4 in the McLaren. Devil Noob in the Alfa Romeo starting P3. Runner 77 in the Red Bull starting P2. And Drastic Blaze in the Alfa Romeo starting on pole position today. That is not a bad starting place for the Alfa Romeos, P1 and P3. Oh, we had a little more time than I thought there. Put it right on the back. Grunty. <coughs> Grunty and Evo will obviously be the big ones that will be trying to move through the field very quickly. I would imagine so. I'm just trying to sort out. Hmm. Not the best of angles, but what do we go on board with? One light, oh. two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights. And it's away we go for round six here in Ewa. <coughs> and uh, we're on board with Crazy Fish in P5 so we can watch the guys going into turn one. Looking in the rear there, let's get moved there by the Mercedes going into turn one on the outside. Going side by side with the Ferrari of Crazy Fish. But so far, everyone seems to have got through and escaped. No crashes yeah. as I can see. Uh, yeah, so, so far there's everyone is facing the right way, <laughs> which is a good sign. Evo already up three places into P11 in the off tower. Nice. So he'd be wanting to get onto the leaders. Race winner from last week, Evo, wasn't he? Was he? 
Did he pick the snake? I believe he was. Was he? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not sure now. You've questioned, got me questioning myself. So I've got my, I've got me questioning myself. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he went. Runner last week. has obviously taken P1. Yeah, from Drastic Blaze. Drastic Blaze will want to get that back as soon as possible. He is on the hard tyres, so he is on the hard tyres. It so... will come back to him at the end. Mm. Fastest lap of the Trooper. race. Looks like the Aston Martin. Oh, oh Ruli Ethan is into the pits. Sort this out, mate. Not sure what this is for. New wing. Okay. And Evo takes another place. Oh. Lost it again. It's which Techers and Evo fighting. The Ryzen there as well, leading that little group. Dan Burnett, Ice Boy, Grunty there with them as well. This is a big battle. I'm back. <laughs> the way I got my PC set I'm up not at the moment. Entirely sure yeah. why here. But on my intervals, Muddy Biscuit is apparently one minute and eighteen seconds behind Invade. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'll sort oh, there itself we go. Out fix now. this off. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stupid game it does that sometimes. <laughs> so that can't be right. Jengus Logan, very close to the back of Devil Noob. Crazy Fish joining in as well. There we are. The way I got my PC oh. and my TV set up. Yellow flags, someone's off. It's blocking the right, left side of my TV at the moment. <laughs> so I, I uh, find it hard to like get onto drivers and stuff like that. Uh, that's Ice Boy Fox into the barrier, no front wing. So he will need a pit stop. And VSC. I have a camera angle there, isn't it? Helicopter mm -hmm. view. Yeah, it's not a bad one, is it? It's nice when the uh, when it does things like that for us. Mm. I have to say that the. The camera angles on this game need to be improved for the next game. Yes, they really do. They have improved. Don't get me wrong. I will say oh, that. Oh yes, massively from uh, from what they used to be. But I still think that uh, they're lacking on a few things that you could do with the, the, the direct, uh, directors and stuff like that. It's yeah. Roy, as they're going side by uh, side there, the uh, Alpha Tower. Of Evo and, and Horizon. Uh, Gravedigger, no, I haven't done any practice here yet. I have. But I've also dropped to a reserve role, so it's fine. I uh, came P2 in SLR a couple of weeks back. Ah, okay. That's not bad. P2. Hmm. I'm looking forward to this track because I don't normally do look forward to it, but the setup I've got seems good. Devil new ball over the back of Crazy Fish with Jengus joining as well. Invade looking to get in. Oh, that's, uh, that's Jengus losing some time there somehow. Looks like he's going to lose the place to Evo as well. Oh. Oh, yeah, like the brakes are from Genghis. <laughs> Looks like Devil Noob is all over the back of Crazy Fish. Devil Noob sounds some pace, mate, isn't he, since he's joined Tier 1? Yes. 
Devil Noom is going to want to get past Crazy Fish as soon as he can. Yes, this is not going to do his tyres any good sitting behind him this long. It's kind of it's kind of weird because he got put into tier three. Oh, and yeah, he's doing like he's up on pace with the tier one. I mean, I know tier one is not as good as it used to be. I will freely admit, right? But still, I have no idea. I've never been in it. <laughs> side by side there from Bay. Bay tried to look for the move into the chicane, but sensibly backed out of it. It's going to be a lonely race for runner for the first half. I feel. Yeah, we've lost a lot. Continues to if tier one drive over the years. Yeah, yeah. But. If he continues to stretch his lead, it's going to be a very lonely race for him until uh, until he changes to the hards. Devil getting the move done into turn one, nicely on the brakes, and it's a chicane. And yet, yeah. sorry, the chicane. I should say it's not a chicane. It's a. Uh... There's a group of what? One, two, three, four, five, six cars there. Seven cars. One, two, three. Yep, seven cars covered by. A couple of seconds. Yeah. This little well, group of cars here. Yeah, all fighting. Makes our job easier on commentary. Yeah. And there's things to, you know, commentate on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was you sitting here just watching two cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy. Crazy Fish off. Uh, Devil Noob off track, sorry. Crazy Fish is going to take him back. Yeah, he's at the front of this train at the moment, Devil Noob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the leaders have kind of dropped uh, Devil Noob. Yeah, they're, so, they're kind of. They're sort of all on their own, those three at the front. Yeah. Oh, invade past Crazy Fish. Yeah, there's some battling going on at the back there as well. As uh, yeah, this little group, yeah, sort of uh, their own little battle compared to the rest of the race. And then you've got like, uh, this group back, yeah. Oh, with, uh, got yellows. Yeah. Is that Ice Boy again? His ice boy is uh, out of this race. Safety car. Into the nice. wall, lost. Oh, oh Muddy Bishop's gone. What happened to Muddy? Um. Oh, Muddy Bishop's gone. Muddy Bishop's gone. On board with Rice, and he's going to be coming up to it. Wherever it was. Oh, he's already gone, I think. He's already gone. Yeah. Down to 13 drivers. Just when everything was going s smoothly. Yeah. <laughs> everything goes so well. Mm. It'll be interesting to see if anyone boxes. Runner has actually boxed. First one in. Drastic in. Tornado in. Devil New. Everybody. Everybody's coming in. Apart from Evo. And I think one of the Mercedes. Genghis Logan. Well, that group that were behind the leaders have decided to pit, so they're on the alternate strategy. That's going to help them big time. Say, oh yes, hard to the end. That saved them a pit stop. Okay, so the leaders. It has because the only one that's kind of compromised is drastic, drastic, because he's got a set of mediums to the end. I think he's happened. hoping that he can stick with them for long enough and by the time they get to the end I think the hards are maybe going off so he's going a set of softs on there and yeah he'll probably take them 10 laps and then uh... 
Oh no, more than that. You probably have to take them 14, 15 laps. I mean. Yeah. So Evo in the lead of the race now. Okay. Genghis Logan is second. I would imagine that the guys behind them on their fresh tyres would make light work of them, unless Evo can pull a bit of a gap at the start, give himself a bit of breathing room. Mm -hmm. Of course, this has brought everyone back into this race now. The ones who had problems at the start. But, uh... Trying to find out what happened. And, uh... Oh, and Jenkins Logan is pit now. That is a strange call. He probably could have got caught out by the pit stop because he could have gone past and, uh... Mm. And he didn't get a he's gone on to softs. That's an even stranger call. Mm. What was this? What was he on a medium tyre? Mediums, yeah. Straight, that is straight. So... Unless he knows something we don't. But... Yeah. Well, Muddy is not said anything. No. no. Ah, according to Invade, there is going to be rain in 10 to 15 minutes. Ooh. Okay. I can see why they're. Uh... See, if I knew that, I'd have gone mediums, personally. Mm. I'm not sure the softs will make 10 to 15 minutes. Hards definitely will, and I, th I think mediums will. Mm. Well, that could be very interesting towards the end. Hmm. So Verizon 40 could be on a good one, yeah? And Trackstar Place could actually be on a good one. Hmm. So Evo, despite being lost, is now leading this race. <laughs> he is, and if he can hold his tyres out for that length of time till the rain comes... He's on a... He might Banger have played a bit of a blinder there. <laughs> Banger of a strategy. Although, saying that, you could... He may fall down the order a little. Runner is going to be flying past him and Dragster and all the guys behind him on fresh tyres. Yeah. He's brought himself back into it. And he is quick. Yeah. We know he is quick. Yeah. My f fellow Welshman. Wish I was as quick as him, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to send me some tips. He does, in all fairness to him, when I ask him for a setup, he always gives me a, a few tips on the roof. See, I'm, I'm, I quite like changeable conditions in a race. I, I do mm. usually get the calls quite right. <laughs> I did it a couple of times last year. Yeah. I got them wrong normally. Like, like in Portugal. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that, I got that one right, didn't I? Yeah. And then, that was, I think that was season eight, and then France in season nine, I think I finished about 15 seconds ahead of everyone, how, how, just because... How, how you won that race, I'll never know. Me and James absolutely <laughs> killing it up front. <laughs> Patronus, uh, Patronus reckons that Evo may have made a whoopsie, but... Um, could. It depends. Okay, safety car in this lap. Your order from back to front. P13, Ipswich Techers. Jenga Slogan, P12. Rawley Ethan in 11th. Grunty in 10th. Verizon in 9th. Dan Burnett in 8th. 7 is Crazy Fish. 6, Devil Noob. 5, Invade. Tornado, 4th. Drastic Blazing 3, Runner in 2nd, and SLR Evo currently leading the pack. He could quite... He could very well get eaten alive. Oh, de definitely. On those... What, 7 lap older tyres compared to everyone else. But he's managed to get away okay. Going 3 wide he there has. in the back, Tornado and Drax Place and Evade. 
all going into turn one. Who's going to be late on the brakes and hold it? Oh, oh, oh. Bates going for the oh, move. Bit of, he little loses contact it there between plastic. Oh, somebody's lost their way. Oh no! And into the wall. Oh oh. That has got to be another safety car, I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. And there's another front wing gone somewhere. Yeah, I just seen it in the in the camera angle. It looks like Jengus Locus lost his front wing. Yeah, and the other one happened. is Devil Noob. So that is unfortunate for him. This See, if happens. I am Evo now, I think mm. I'd box for softs. If the rain is coming, mm. yeah, I think I'd box for softs. You may as well. But there you go, if you want to be put into the middle of the carnage, <laughs> like that's going on in the back. <laughs> oh, Invade has damage too. Yeah. Verizon, that was the restart of all restarts. You're not wrong. <laughs> that is crazy. They do say safety cars breathe safety cars. Yes. And... Crazy Fish, really unfortunate. He was fighting for P4. Well, Evo's fighting not coming P in. Yeah, Crazy Fish fighting P4 with everyone, and he's now down in P12 and has to stop. Oh, it's a double stack on the Mercedes. Oh, double stack on Mercedes. Oh, that was a. Okay. And it's a new front wing for both of them. So the Mercedes, that must be an absolute killer for Genghis Logan there. <laughs> yes. Somehow in all of that, Tornado has ended up in P2. <laughs> well, he was running in about fourth, wasn't he, or something like that, wasn't he? Yeah, so, I think he, he got a couple at the first turn and uh, obviously the safety car after that, so kept hold of it. Very, very nice. But well, Evo is still stayed out. I think he's thinking in his head, I want to keep away from what's going on behind. Yeah, that that's not a bad plan. And uh, with the rain coming... I think he, uh, Invade has listened to me there. Going on to the sauce till the rain comes. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, with the rain coming, uh, he can stretch those out to the rain. Yeah, yeah. Invade is gonna be, and Devil Noob, they're both gonna be very quick. With, with the safety car, that stretches it out as well. Yeah. If it is 15 minutes, it's gonna be eating up the time to the rain yeah because they'll not it be does. doing one 120s 124s well between yeah. 122 and 120 it is, the starting, minute, are they? it is starting to look cloudy it's it in uh it is dan burnett has also now stopped for softs you can always tell when it gets cloudy when you see the shadows disappear. Yeah. This part of the track seems very bright, but uh, back there in the pit straight it looked quite dark. But it's not as bright as it was. You can kind of see in the sky there is the clouds are there. Yeah. That rain so when you will get, be coming. It's when you get to the, the back end of the, the circuit. It seems to be the darkest. Yeah. Still saying 15 minutes at the minute, apparently. Mm. Still saying 15. Oh, okay. Mm. Could it be one of those things where it keeps saying 15 minutes, like, it, uh, uh, yeah, 15 minutes. Still 15 minutes. And then all minutes. of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> Two minutes to rain. <laughs> You're like, well, you said 15 minutes. <laughs> I didn't get one penalty on this the other day. 
Oh, I imagine I will. Oh, safety car in this lap. So, P13, Dan Burnett. P12, Jengus Logan. P11, Crazy Fish. P10, Devil Noob. P9, Ipswich Techers. P8, Invade. 7, Ruley Ethan. P6, Grunty. P5, Drastic Blaze. P4, Verizon 40. P3, Runnard. P2, Tornado. And still leading the pack, SLR Evo. Well, it gets them underway again. Um, that is a good start. It's a good start, but Tornado's going for the move. Oh, Tornado's Doesn't going much for the move. On the outside there, much fresh ties. Oh, a bit of contact there from Evo. Uh, kind of. Open the door for a runner. Oh. And yeah. Verizon fancies a look. Got a back rear view there. And he takes him. Oh, that's invade. What happened? Oh, Dragster Blaze is going for the move. De Sorry. Ethan's going Does for the move. Is that Devil Noob off the track? Oh, he's, no, he's... not Devil Noob. Devil Noob. Oh, it's Drastic. He's got no front wing. Drastic, no front wing. He also must have been contact back somewhere. Vade is also. Uh, is that safety struggling. car? It is a safety car again. Got, what? For what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's fucking a joke. This game. It is seriously a joke. <laughs> It is a joke, this game. How can you have a safety car just for for that? No cars crashed that, out. That no. didn't need a safety car. VSC, maybe, if there was someone blocking. Yeah. Safety car, three in a row. This is a joke of a game, I'm telling you. They need to seriously improve this game next, next game. Is it, on, is it on reduced, or...? It is, it is all reduced. So I don't know whether since the update, right, they've changed it. So reduced now is what standard is. If you know, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. They've upped it. I don't think you could go for a lower sound. I don't think. Nope. Reduced is the lowest. Yeah. And if you turn the safety car off. Yeah, know. but that's just. It's not real race. It's not real racing, is it? Uh, no. Ruly Ethan has. What on earth has got on there? Okay, Ruly Ethan. Uh, Jen Slogan overtook Ruly Ethan and gave it back again. Okay, that was strange. Yeah, he's, he was probably in AI mode or something, and uh, yeah. the game told him to overtake, and then... <laughs> okay, Div1, we want a nice clean restart this time, please. Yeah. Ah, uh, he overtook me, so I just, so just took it, okay. <laughs> I don't see this raining happening. Yep, that is that is very good English there, Horizon. <laughs> yeah, you it's only don't see this rain happening. But I've seen that many a time in this game where you think, "No, oh, it's not going to rain. It's not going to rain," and then suddenly, it is, bang! It is getting progressively darker. Yeah, the shadows have gone now. Yeah. I see this rain coming. Yeah, I, I, I think it will come. Yeah, shadows are definitely gone now in sector one. Could be any couple of laps time. These six. Oh, drastic has gone onto the inters. That is a shock. It's not even raining. Oh, that's an interesting. Is it pulled to me there? Yeah. I think he may have selected the next tyre as an inter. 
No, because he went in on the lap before he came out on fresh softs. So he's gone in again. Well, I'm on board with him. I'm looking for any speck of, of rain on his car. He may have made a catastrophic error or a genius move. Yeah. It's impossible to know until the race starts again. The thing is, though, he's pitted early in the drive. His tyres are absolutely going to be shot the time he gets to the rain. Yeah, I, I agree, Patronus. It's got to be said. It's got to have told him that it, the rain is is coming. Yeah. Oh, but you know what the engineer's like in this game. <laughs> well, yeah. He's got to be aware that if the rain doesn't come by the time this race restarts, his tyres will overheat mm. massively. Yeah. That's what I've said. His tyres are absolutely going to be... Shot. And he's boxing again. Yeah. It's not worth it. There's no rain. And even if it does rain, right? It could be a while before it's actually still. Is that someone else coming for him? No. No, no, okay. I, I could have sworn I've seen another. Atrax He's gone on to. Inters again. He's gone on to Evers again. Inters again. That is strange. Unless he felt that those Inters wouldn't last to the ring. Because he was on. Or. Is he trying to do this on purpose so the safety car stays out a little longer? Oh, that's a bit cheating. It only stay out a certain time. You could be what? Uh, is it three laps, laps max? Three laps max normally, but sometimes I'll do four. But that'll be it. According to my, what I've just quickly done in my head, the safety car should be in mm. on this lap. This should be its in lap. And we will soon find out. Definitely no rain. Safety car in this lap. Yep. I think Drastic has made a mistake here. No, he's not that far back. No, but he's on Inters. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No specks of rain. Oh, sorry guys, I haven't run through the order. So, Drastic plays in P13 on his Inters for some reason. 12th Crazy Fish, 11 Invade, 10 Devil Noob, 9 Grunty, 8 Dan Burnett, 7 Jenga Slogan, 6 Rule Ethan, 5 Ipswich Techers, 4 Runner, 3 Verizon, 2 Tornado, and P1 SLR Evo. Back on the way. Can they all get to turn one now without crashing this time? Absolutely not. And uh, going oh, side by side. So, yeah. Oh, somebody's around. Sir McLaren round. It's tornado. Oh, it's tornado now. Where is he? Oh, <laughs> I was looking at the camera. I couldn't find him. The camera. Drastic. The ca I somehow managed to jump Dan Burnett there. I think the cameraman was like... Oh, and that's another he? safety car. It's got to be. Yeah. Uh, right, I, I'm, I give up. Honestly, I'm going to take my headset off now. and Honestly, just... I give up, Splash. honestly. The rain's here. The rain's here. Maybe that's why. At least, man. So, Drastic it, Blaze is going to... Watch all these guys go into the pits. And surely, if he stays, if they all stay close enough together, mm. surely he's going to take the lead of this race. Mm. He's played play the blind there. Uh, not broken with, well, I mean, it is broken with safety cars. But, um, he must be laughing his head off in that. Uh, and pass. drastic takes P1.
The only other thing I will say is that he's going to be on. I'd say they're only two they're level, only level old. Two level old tires, right? But you got to imagine <laughs> that the, there is <coughs> slightly more worn than two laps, I'd say, because he's been in the dry. Mm. <coughs> it's surprising how much. Well, he's well, well. Ethan's retired. Well, Ethan has retired in the pits. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. It's a shame if not somewhat understandable with the fourth safety car in a row. Oh, that is... that is really raining. Really, really raining. Can we have a clue from the drivers if it's... Um, Given as light rain or heavy rain, that's really coming down. Yeah. And um, if it is coming down like that, inters may be a liability. Well, Verizon has come that. out on mediums. There you go. I've seen this type of race before, I think. <laughs> I'm starting to think that, uh, sort of. Well, we'll see after the next restart. Hopefully no one crashes. And if it no if another one comes out, then this obvious, but it's obviously broken. Could be just a bad driving. <laughs> Could be. Evo back up to P2 now. So he's done quite well out of that because he was at the back, I believe. Yeah, start P13. Yeah. If he was to win again today, he would start to close that gap to tracks. Still a place in the championship. Of yeah. course, uh, you've got runner. Why isn't he paid, Ryzen? I, not sh I'm not sure. That is is it only due for five minutes of rain and is hoping it clears by the safety car, by the time the safety car comes in? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's but a, it does it's a gamble. Look like it doesn't look like that, does it? Looks like no. this rain's in for the for the race. This is what happened last. Uh, we, I think it was in. No, it was a week before, in um, F3. Um, One guy stayed out in Monza on the, the, sorry F2. One guy stayed out on the dry tires and completely messed up other people's races because he was so slow. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, Matty for uh, Red Bull my team benefited massively from it. He's like <laughs> Okay, end up, so end up winning the race. Oh that's not bad. It'll work hopefully. Okay. Well we'll uh, we'll we'll see what your plan is, Horizon. <laughs> oh address is gone already. Wow. Yeah. Evo right with him, they have dropped everybody else. And look at that. Ryzen cannot cope with these inter drivers. No. Yep, he's gone straight on. Oh, I just a car off in the back. Oh, no, 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 not again. Jengus Logan straight into Genghis, the wall. Do not put a safety car out, I swear to God. Kind of stuck. No. Oh, he's got it round. Yeah. So drastic oh, and Tane evil. Tenado's lost his front wing. So it's all going off at the back again. It's like I say, be patient. You don't have to go for 
moves on turn one. Oh, Tornado's, tornado's out. No, not again. Not again, please. Please, not a safety car. I think we've added enough of safety cars. Genuine slogan, no throughout wing. So he'll be... Clear. It's, it's clear, no safety car. That's good. Thank God. All right, Eva is keeping up with Drax the Blaze at the front. We've got Ipswich Tech as there in third place. Runner will be looking to get past him as soon as possible, I would imagine. Crazy fish in the pits, I'm guessing no front wing. Yeah. Verizon also into the pits, I'm guessing for Inters. Yeah. So you may as well keep going. Yes, Wait, this is because there's 11 drivers and there's only one that's not going to get any points, so... Mm. Any points are good points. Well, that didn't work out well. No, not, not exactly. Not exactly. As Runner Red gets the move done there on Ipswich Techers, it's a... Uh, so he'll be going after the the top the top two. It is really between D three in this division at the moment. <laughs> it is. Drastic Blaze has built a little bit of a buffer for himself to Evo. Which I'm shocked at because Evo is on the fresh attire. So maybe he's just staying out of the uh spray at the moment. Could be Yeah what he's doing either it is very hard in the spray when you, when you got following a car so closely yeah it does need to be careful of uh, runner behind him though so it doesn't want to drop off too much mm. yeah runners and dropped Ipswich already well, that is that is the closest battle on track at the minute between Evo and Drastic we'll quick look at the uh, penalty situation uh, it switches on three seconds, Invade on three seconds, Crazy Fish and Verizon on three seconds. Oh, they're all on three seconds. And uh, Jengus, yep. Yeah. All on three seconds so far. Biggest movers are Evo with 12 positions gained and Grunty with 10 positions gained. Next after that, oh, next after that is it switch techs with nine positions gained. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, Evo. Currently only four tenths behind now, so those tyres may be starting to go off. Oh, that's a Mercedes of. Is that Invade? No. Jengus Logan. Logan. Mercedes, Jengus. Oh, he's okay. out. Retired in the pits, I think. So, down to 10 runners now. So, uh, yeah, those tyres are definitely going off. That's the problem yeah. when you pitted in the dry. In the dry. You knew it yeah. would start to cut, come to them. Look at that, <laughs> runner <laughs> red. He's oh, down to two seconds now. The leaders, so he is... Oh, no, run! Runner Red almost loses it. That's such a twitch of oversteer there. Oh, and again. Despite all of that, he's still maybe pushing a little too hard to um. To keep did up Devon with him lose it there as well? Somebody Burnett. did. Burnett. It's great if it's up a three second time penalty. Devon knew the three second as well. Go through the. That chicane. I believe that is, yeah, they're all three seconds now, so top four, no penalties, everyone else three seconds. The X and Burnett, he's currently <coughs> at the front of this, of uh, Grunty, Grunty following him through. Runner 
runner with the current fastest lap, and uh, I don't think anyone's going to be beating that, obviously, with it raining now. Oh, see the rear end of Ipsis Tech is there. Oh, what That's happened? A... He was in fourth. What happened? Yeah, I was just thinking that. That's why I, I switched down to him. I was like, what happened to him? He certainly lost the rear there coming into the. Uh... Oh, he's gone again. He's got a bit of wing damage. I was saying just now, he's, he's, he seems to be struggling with the rear end. As Verizon picks up the I will be here. back in just a second. Yep. Oh, Switch Tech has just gone again. What's going on? Oh, we're back. Sorry, oh, it's the seconds oh, it, out. It's the seconds out. He was spinning like like hell, and then just lost it. Let's see if I can see him when crazy. Oh no, he's already gone. Bad so crazy if he's got that. And Ebro takes drastic plays. So we're down to nine races here. And uh, out of all of that, Drax, Evo's got past Draxter. But Drax is coming back at him. They're going side by side. And he's got the move back again. So uh, Evo didn't get the uh, run up the hill. But Evo goes massively wide. Massively wide. Oh, in three seconds. Yeah. That, that opens the door for crucial. runner. The runner's also into this situation now. He hits a chicane. And Evo's just cut the corner again, so that'll be another warning, definitely. Mm. I will have a check. Well, Ber Burnett has kind of dropped Grunty now, so he's not under pre that's much of a pressure now. Hopefully he can catch up to this, the leaders. Being a sh shot of a podium here. He could, so yes, Evo got his three seconds and then straight away another warning. Yeah. Obviously the pressure now for... Oh! These guys are struggling in this conditions. Perhaps the conditions have changed. That's why it's going like this. Is it Is it getting... Wets? I think it might be full wets. But with five laps left. It's definitely full west. Risk it? That's why I think it is. Everyone's at, really struggling. I was looking at Ipswich Checkers and I was wondering why he was struggling. It's because it's full wet. You can see the amount of rain yeah. going down now. It is. There's there's barely a line there. There's barely a, a damp oh, line. Oh no! It's, it's full wet. What do you do? What do you do? You've got to come in. You've got to come in. Look at the spray. Everyone coming. is struggling. Look at the spray coming off the cars. Five laps to go, though. Do you risk it and stay out? The leaders, I, I'd that say is a they tough go, call. Yeah, if I was the one at Evo now, I'd pick. Right? Because you've got five laps to yes. close the gap. Oh, that's a big slide. Not boxing. Anyone else? See if anyone else boxes. Dan Burnett, no. Grunty, no. Devil Noob, no. Invade coming round. Invade does not box. Oh, Verizon's out. No. Don't eight runners. Well, of all this trucks that blaze, it's kind of got a bit if of a gap. Can, if you can hold it on the track and not cut a corner. Evo's definitely Dude. struggling out there. 
Drastic and Runner Red, let's have a look and see if they have any warnings. I will inform. That's all I'm looking for, Drastic and Runner. Oh, I'm struggling to get this. That car on the brakes there. Drastic only has the one warning. And Runner has zero warnings. It is worth noting that Drastic Plays did actually have a five second time penalty as well, which he served in the pits. Devil noob. He's catching up to Granty at the moment. He's down to 1.4 seconds now, almost. So, this r race is not over yet for uh, Devil Noob. Absolutely not. He's down to 1.4. He's definitely closer. By a tenth here and there. Granty. Still... But he doesn't seem to like these conditions too much at the moment. No, he's, uh, he does seem to be struggling a little. The front yeah, three with... 1.2 now, so... Yep. Oh, it's coming down. It is coming down. Three laps, 1.4 seconds and 1.3. It's, it's doable. Mm. Three laps to go. Evo and little. Runner both getting very, uh, very slidey there. They're on a similar amount of ERS as well, so that's going to be a problem for her. Devil Noob if she wants to try and get past. B is down to nearly a second. Made a half a second on that lap. Evo is closing up to the back of Runner, which in the grand scheme of things, it won't make a difference with the uh, Evo's penalty, but mm. if you can pressure him into cutting a corner here and there, then get him, set, get him a penalty himself. Mm. I think Dan, Derek XM Burnett, I think he is out of the podium spot. He's dropping back slowly he to is. the leaders. But that fourth place, I think, is uh, that's solidified, solidified for him. Uh, mm. And it's not a bad finish. P4 is not no. a bad finish. No. He's in a bit of a no man's land at the moment, really. Yeah. Oh, runner goes off track. Goes very wide there. That might have got him a penalty. Yeah, but I think... That did indeed Blaze. give him a warning. Blaze is looking fairly comfortable here for the victory here today. If it was right, oh. if it was dry, I'd say no. But in these wet conditions, he's, he's done uh, very well. Done very well. Evo he has had another warning as well, so one more, and he's got another penalty, which will. Oh, wow, that burnout's just a bit too far out of it. Yeah, a seven point two would be a. Devil Noob is the closest guy on track now, the action wise. Runner is 0.7 six. behind Drastic. Oh, it's going to come down to the last lap. Yeah, let's close that gap up, isn't he, on this lap? Oh, no, oh. he's sliding. Oh, he's sliding. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's Give me a heart attack then. <laughs> he's pushing so hard. And I think that's going to have done it for him. Yeah. He is pushing hard. He's, He's missed out on a few wins yet. Through no fault of his own, really, sometimes. I think he's... He must be thinking in that car, what have we got to do to win yet? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That was... Oh. That was good car control, because that could have easily ended up in a barrier. But we've got a bit of action up the back here with Devil Noob. 
Devil Noob is definitely uh, down, close to the gap down to 7 tenths. So on the last lap, will it be enough though? Because uh, I think Grunty. Grunty is going to fight for this place. Yeah. It's so hard to get close in the wet. That's the problem. Right. Good evening, uh, Horizon. Have, have fun on F1 2010. Probably plays better than this one. Last lap, it looks like tracks that Drastic Blaze is going to win this race. And Evo gets another oh, time. Oh, Evo penalty. with three seconds. So that's six seconds now. You will still stay in third place. As Just. As he, runner Red goes wide again. How's he got not got a penalty? <laughs> I'm not sure. But coming into the final uh, pit straight and Draxler Blaze wins the Imola Grand Prix with Renner Red in second place and Evo in third. A brilliant P4 there from Burnett. Granty will come home in the end oh, to get that P5. Was close. But Del News P6, nice result for her. Him and the Alfa Romeo invade their P7. And, you know, gets to the end. Despite all his ups and downs in the race. And then Crazy Fish also we'll, stuck it out to the end. Well, yeah, despite we'll come home with P8. That's some good points. Despite uh, being so far back, he stuck it out to get some points for the Ferrari team here in Italy. So, they'll be happy. Wow, wow, wow. The driver of the day, DX Burnett. I will send some invites. Okay. Right, so who are we going to vote for the driver of the day? Um, I think... I think I've got, to give it, I've got to give it to Evo from starting P13. Oh, actually 15. But P15, yeah. Yeah. I think so, come yeah. home in third. As running was up there anyway, he started he started up there, as did Drastic. So to come home from the back to claim a P three, I think that's um a job well done there. Um My vote would be what the game voted for, surprisingly. Dan Burnett, okay. That's that's a good choice. He's Although like Grunty Grunchy Grunty was in with a shout for it as well. Yeah. Actually, uh, Evo started P14, I'm wrong. P14, yes, yeah. Uh, uh, Grunty P5, I mean... One of those three, you could vote for. Any one of them. Yeah. Um, uh, runner is on PC, so he will not be able to join the party, obviously. Hmm. Unless okay. he has his Xbox app on there. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah... My vote would be Burnett. But... Uh, I suppose we we could give it to you, you her, as he got the I podium in so. the end. Yeah. Can you make sure you've ticked the box, please, mate? Thank you. Just waiting to see if Drastic is going to join us. Uh, Drastic's mic is still playing up. Okay, fair enough. And 
Runaways on PC, so it looks like it's just you for the interview today. I was just looking at that now. I didn't take the box. I'm not sure if my, I was heard on the stream, but all of that. You were. You were. Yeah. Were you heard? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I could hear you. <laughs> it's, I think that's because uh, Evo is streaming as well. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I was streaming as well. So yeah. That's probably where the box is up. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking in, <laughs> have I done something wrong yet? Because I'm sure I, <laughs> I, I pressed the include audio at the beginning. <laughs> but uh, we could invite someone else if you want. Let's think who was uh, who was P4 Drax the Blaze. He was on PC. Yeah, tell we'll get him. Okay. If we can, there we go. <sighs> can you tick the box, please, Mike? I have. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll let you start, stars. All right. Well, uh, it's you, Grunty, because we can't interview anyone else. So, <laughs> you get that luxury. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, uh, not the best of qualifiers for you. Um, I caught it late because uh, I joined the stream late because I didn't know I was streaming tonight. Well, technical issues. Um, so, uh, yeah. Pretty crappy uh, qualifying for you, so it's it kind of uh, a your race. But you, in the end, you managed to claw your way through all the chaos of the safety cars and everything, and uh, managed to get uh, P6, was it? No, four, fifth? P5. Five. P5. Five. So, uh, tell us about your race. And, uh, how it, how it I don't know if I want to. I don't know if you want to. <laughs> I, I think you want to hear it. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of profanity in it. Uh, no, basically. Qualifying was a shambles, like, obviously everyone, everyone waited to the end. Mm. I was doing what is respected in the rule book by, you know, giving space to the cars ahead. Yeah. Um, I then started to warm up my tyres, because obviously, going that slow, they're cold. And they decides, oh, you know what would be a good idea? I'll dive down as inside, as I'm warming up my tyres, and then, <laughs> you know, gives me a five-place grid pen. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I went to start my lap, and then... Two Alpines decided to decided it'd be fun to go three wide down to turn one and then take each other out at turn one. It was just an sh absolute shambles. Like I've never seen anything worse. Um, and the race again, complete shambles. Just every two minutes there was a safety car. Um, yeah, well, like we thought it was nice broken. For a bit. Yeah, no, it's not. It wasn't broken. It was people literally just crashing into each other. Yeah, I feel like the only person who didn't crash into someone was the top three. You know, mm. like, the top three finished the race. And mm. it was just constant. People just taking each other out. Or, yeah, people just not leaving space. People staying out on mediums when it's obviously wet weather. Messing up everyone else. Like, it's just, it was just an absolute shambles. And, you know, I don't normally come on like this. I'm normally quite civil with it. But it's, <laughs> you know, it's got to the point where you, you just, you just say, well, like, when's enough? Enough's enough. Like, it's just, and then people will blame it on you. Like, if someone smashed into the side of you, it's your fault. Oh, yeah, mm. my fault. Is it? Okay, cool. Brilliant. Mm. You know. Yeah. I think the only one really, there's only a couple of people who actually civilized to realize actually it's their fault. In, yeah. in this tip. Um, which, you know, I respect <laughs> them. Like, Dan, for example, took full blame for that qualifying incident. And because he apologized, I'm not going to send it in. Because he's, mm. you know, he's apologized to me. That's fine. I do that. Right? But if somebody comes along and says it's my fault when you smash into the side of me under qualifying conditions when you should respect the space of the car ahead, you know, as the driver's behind, then, yeah. you know, you get what's coming to you. But overall, you know, yeah, the race was all right. Obviously, wet weather came along, pitted for inters, and then next thing you know it, the, the front three are gone. And, like, I got penalty, so obviously no point holding Dan up and then just... Obviously, you had JD, a uh, devil noob, sorry, 
um, just approached me really slowly, and he just had so much more traction than I did. I was really struggling with the tyres, and mm. yeah, I managed to just sneak P5 in the end after I don't know how that race. I think it was. I think it finished. I think he finished two tenths behind or something. It was very yeah. Really close. Yeah, he was getting good traction out the last couple of quarters on me. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was definitely quick in, in the wet. Uh, Devil Noob. Um, he did seem to have some good traction in that race. Uh, but let's say you've got P5 there out of all the car on your team. He's at least got to be happy with that anyway. So, to get through it. But, yeah. uh, you know, it's one of those races where he's just happy to finish, you know, and get through it. Because, uh, especially mixed conditions and everything, that kind of throws, ev throws everything up as well. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. We always like the mixed conditions, so that, I mean, and racing it personally, I do anyway. Yeah, it's, it was alright. But anyway, thank you, Granty, for joining us. Uh, you know, as we couldn't get the others in, obviously, because they're on different networks and consoles or whatever. But uh, I'll leave the Evo to you. Uh, I'll get out. Right then, Evo. Started P14, so uh, not, a, yeah. not a fantastic qualifying, but to come home P3, that's that's a hell of a race. Talk us, uh, talk, talk us through the, the beginning of the race in the dry to start. Uh, so yeah, well, qualifying first of all, that was uh, qualifying bad because of uh, the ah, okay. Block for, uh, the, uh, the block with Tornado on Japan. Hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, but yeah, so good damage limitation. Um, dries, yeah, car was feeling nice and comfortable. Um, just trying to keep it out of trouble, really. Um, I need to have a look back on my stream on what happened between me and Muddy Biscuit. Um, yeah, I don't think we uh, caught that. We, we saw... So obviously, yeah, I've been around and things yeah, in the background. But... I, I, as I said, I'm gonna have to have a look on my stream because on my stream, it, I was close to Muddy Biscuit, but I it didn't feel like I was hitting him or and I didn't get a collision warning. But the way that his car was looking, it looked like I was in contact with him, so I don't know what was going on. So I need to have a look at that one. Um, okay, yes. So, if it if it turns out to be my fault, hold my hand up to it and whatnot. But yeah, it's just weird because I had the quick look afterwards and there was no collision warning. So yeah, just one of them strange ones. Yeah, uh, and then obviously the safety car came out. Um, Which one? <laughs> yeah, that won the best of timings. <laughs> but I was like, right, well, I'm gonna have to like risk it for a biscuit type of thing. Um, so yeah, I was like, right, let's just try and make it work. If it was going to stay dry for the rest of the race, at least I'll, at least I might be able to stretch the hards up to the soft or something. But yeah, another safety car, and then another one, and then that just screwed me over. Then and I was like, right, I I'm praying for rain now. And yeah, I never want to do this track again on rain. No. <laughs> so you did my seem setup. to have some traction problems in the rain there. The back end oh, was coming setup. out quite my a lot. Setup. Yeah, my setup for this for the rain, it was just not there. So I was either under steering or over steering, or the car was just not complying the way that I wanted it to. So yeah, P three at the end. But GG to Blaze and um, and to Queen. Both of us like good, uh, good pace. They did. Yeah. Had good... I mean, you were battling them until obviously you got your penalty, and then it was more just a case of sort of stay away from whoever's with, whoever was behind you, really. So, yeah. <laughs> to, P3 to honest, from P14 even... is not bad, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It was, it was a good recovery drive. So, um, but uh, yeah, on to the next track, which. I have no idea what it is, so I'll uh, deal with it next week. Yeah, I do that. 
<laughs> yeah. Next round apparently is Austria. Austria. Oh, great. Another track that I struggle with traction on. Oh, I love Austria. <laughs> I do quite like Austria. <laughs> it's an easy track. <laughs> it is an easy track, isn't it? Well, thank you for joining us, guys. Yeah. And congratulations to, to, to our podium sitters today. Mm. And I'll leave you with stars for the sign-off. Yeah. Obviously, I joined late because I didn't know I was streaming. Because uh, obviously, I don't know what happened with the other people. Technical but, issues, uh, technical issues, or something, or whatever. Uh, it's usually uh, it's usually days that hosts it, and I had, I don't have the login details. So, okay, yeah. Well, like I say, technical issues. Uh, we were a little bit late, so yeah. Uh, but that was your Imola Grand Prix for uh, Tier One. Like, like you say, we're on to round seven. Is it next week? Yes, I want to say seven. I want to say seven. It's Austria. It's Austria. <laughs> yeah, so it's Austria round seven next week. So hopefully, uh, Days will be back next week along with Mr. Adam Moore as his co next week, and uh, we'll be looking forward to that. And uh, well, obviously, we've got Tier Two tomorrow in Imola. Let's see. If they can uh, have a little less safety cars than uh, tonight, <laughs> <laughs> I think we should turn it off. <laughs> turn it off this it, morning. Yeah, because that was just that was just terrible. It kind of it's, it, 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 see, it must be broken. I'm, 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 I know it was some bad driving tonight, obviously, but it just seems as though there's more. I just I don't know. It just seems uh, as though there's more. It did seem like there was a lot tonight. More some than people, people just don't have the patience to. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Wait, we said that actually way, during the stream. We said that on the stream. People just don't have the the brain cells to like back out. Mm. Like if I'm mm. going side by side with someone, and you're on the inside of turn one, and you're slightly ahead of me, you know mm. damn right I'm backing out of that, and I'm going to try and get you on the exit potentially. Worst comes worst, I'll follow you and try and get your next lap. Like, people don't have that kind of patience and don't have that kind of brain cells. They think, oh, you know what, instead I'll do, I'll try to batter you around turn one, I'll hit the curves on the inside of turn two, I'll smash into you on, uh, you know, at turn two, you then go into the gravel, probably a, a, a incorrect re-entry, and cause a pilot. Hmm. Yep, sounds about yeah. right. That's, I mean, am I wrong? I mean, I've been, I've been in this fucking league since tier, since... Early season one, begin end of season one, beginning of season two. It's exactly the same thing that's happening. He means flipping league stream people. Season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, it, you think people will learn by now how to race, but it's, it's you would have thought so. Like at the end of the day, like you, I don't feel, I never feel comfortable anymore going side by side with anyone, right? Any corners, you know, unless you're like, for example, the top three, and you're. Mm. You know, you you always race at the top. You know you're both you're all fast, and you know mm. you race in multiple leagues, and you know you can respect each other. Yeah, fine. But when you get racing against people like fucking I don't know, like Jengus Logan or someone like someone who's trying to fight their way through Div One, thinking they're the fastest when actually they're either mid pack or the slowest. You know, they're trying to battle you, and you're like, I'm not saying obviously I'm faster, but at the end of the day, like it's still worthy of a decent, honourable battle. Mm. But nobody can do that anymore, and it's like, well, what's mm. the fucking point? I'm actually, are we off stream, by the way? No. No. <laughs> no. For fuck's sake. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I didn't, I didn't mean it as Jengus Logan. <laughs> I didn't mean it as Jengus Logan. That was just a little example. Just, just a little example. <laughs> a lot of drivers are the same. I'm not specifying just... him. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, my God. Jungle, take your lunch okay. then. I didn't need you. I promise. Uh, okay, I'm going to go down the stream there. Yeah, <laughs> before, before we go, Muddy. Yeah. How did you not watching. know that I'd not end the stream? Like, I didn't I sign thought you off. Did it. Like. I thought you were just chatting. <laughs> no! Oh, it's, he said to me, oh, Stars, end the you know, get, get the last bit of the stream. And I was, and then you put it in, and it was like, <laughs> I was like. <laughs>
<laughs> so I thought, oh, oh well, just, just is he end it, please. <laughs> I thought, just is he saying, it. is he saying something informative? Yeah, right. That he wanted to add, like, and then he was just there for about ten minutes, like, in the rest of the drivers. <laughs> I'm gonna get too far before I fucking lay at this point. I'm gonna suck from the loo. Oh dear. Great. Well, Cheers, hopefully, boys. hopefully it no one watches. Hopefully, no one watches this back. <laughs> Right, see you later. <laughs>